All right, we're still talking about decimal forms of rational numbers, and we just saw that we can convert a fraction into a decimal. Well, we can also convert a decimal into a fraction, and a lot of times this is very, very easy if you just understand what the decimal places mean, and this is something you should already know from earlier classes. But if I have a number like this, 0 0.34915, you should understand that that three right there in the first digit after the decimal, that three means three tenths. And the four in the, in the second place after the decimal, that means four hundredths. And the nine means nine thousandths. And that one means one ten thousandth. And the five means five hundred thousandths, and so on. We could have uh, as many digits past that as we needed. But each, each place after the decimal represents a specific fraction. And knowing that helps you convert any decimal number to a fraction. So if we just had this 0.3, that would be 3 tenths, because that's what that first decimal place after the decimal means. It means tenths. So 0.3 is 3 tenths. Pretty easy. If I had 0.29, that would be 29 hundredths. If I had 0.417, that would be 417 thousandths. And when you do this, if you're, if you're converting a decimal to uh, a rational number or to a fraction, it's a good idea to simplify the fraction if possible. So look at this, 0.25, that's 25 hundredths but that's the same as one-fourth. We can reduce that fraction all the way down to one-fourth. If you're thinking of things in terms of percents, you might want to leave it as 25 hundredths, but in a lot of cases, we just want to reduce that down to one-fourth. 0.68, we'll just go through a few quick examples here. 0.68 is 68 hundredths, and I look at those two numbers, 68 and 100, and I realize they're both divisible by two. So I divide each of them by two, 68 divided by 2 is 34, and 100 divided by 2 is 50. And, and those two numbers are also divisible by 2, so I can reduce this again. That reduces to 17 25ths, and we can't reduce it any more than that. That fraction is uh, simplified as much as possible. 0.6, that's 6 tenths, that's the same as 3 fifths. And one more example, 1.72. As a fraction, that would be 172 hundredths. And I can reduce that. Both of those are even numbers, so I'll divide them both by 2. 172 divided by 2 is 86. And 100 divided by 2 is obviously 50. And 86 over 50, both of those are even numbers. So I'll reduce it again. That reduces to 43 over 25. And we're done. So just, uh, just some examples of converting decimals to uh, rational numbers. What gets a little bit different is when we start converting repeating decimals to rational numbers, and we'll look at that next.